evening, everyone, and we welcome you into the Franklin Bacala Gymnasium here on the campus of Hilton Head Prep, where we're beginning the fifth season of the Covert Air Basketball High School Series. I'm Chris Trembley, and tonight we bring you Hilton Head Prep against the Hilton Head Christian Academy Eagles in a game that can, well, best be described as... How many of you out there read that classic in English literature, A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens? As different as London and Paris are, these two teams tonight are also. Hilton Head Prep comes in at 11 and one, averaging over 60 points a game. Hilton Head Christian Academy comes in at two and nine, averaging just about 40 a game. The recipe tonight for Christian Academy, obviously they need to slow down the tempo. They need to make sure that when Prep gets off their shots, they're only getting off one shot and they're able to go ahead and do everything they can to get the ball in the hole when they get a chance. The fans are here, they're excited. We're excited to be bringing you this game tonight and when we come back here on the Club Car of Hilton Head pregame show, we're gonna talk to the coaches right after this. Club Car of Hilton Head, an authorized dealer of the finest golf, utility and transportation vehicles in the industry. We have a full selection of electric, gas, PTV, golf and utility vehicles. We are family owned and operated and value our customer relationships. Fully staffed with factory trained technicians and can service your cart at your home or business. We provide an outstanding customer experience from sales to service. Come check us out. We are proud to be Hilton Head's only authorized club car dealer. When it comes to air conditioning, bigger is not always better. An oversized system uses too much energy and it won't reduce the humidity levels, leading to dampness, mold, and microbacterial growth. Take this environmental tip from Covert Air. And we welcome you back into the Club Car of Hilton Head pregame show. I'm joined by Hilton Head Christian Academy coach, Mac Teneman. Mac, thanks so much for spending a minute with us. Sure, glad to be here. You've played 11 games, you're two and nine, obviously not the place you wanna be, but with such a young team, how have you seen the growth come together so far this season? Well, you know, we've come a long way. As you said, being as young as we are, it's tough to get these guys confidence, uh, typically playing against teams that are a lot bigger and stronger than us physically. Um, and again, it's all about just winning that moment. It's going out and it's trying to get better in each, each quarter, each game, and uh, just trying to get some confidence under these guys' belts. You talk about confidence. Obviously, when you're practicing, you have to keep them motivated. You know, you, you lose game after game, so to speak. You do have two wins. How do you keep them motivated during practice? Well, you know, we just go out there and we say sometimes, you know, it's not about the win and the loss. It's about the process. And we try and look forward and say, hey, one day you're going to be a junior or senior, you know. We're trying to do off-season stuff, get in the weight room, uh, get some workouts in in the summer and over these breaks and whatnot, and just trying to do everything we really can to get better right here, right now. We're starting tonight with two freshmen, two sophomores and a junior, and you only have seven people dressed because a few of them have the flu. That's right. Game plan for tonight. Well, the game plan for tonight, you know, we have to control the pace. Obviously, Hilton Head Prep's very good. Uh, they're big, they get up and down the floor well. Um, and again, we just want to try and slow things down, control the tempo. Um, they can't score if we have the ball. Um, so we got to play a little bit of cat and mouse in that sense. And on defense, probably making sure that they only get off one shot. Good job boxing out. Yeah, and that's been a problem of ours all year simply because of our size. But absolutely, yeah, we can't afford to give them second, th third, fourth shots. It's going to be a long night if we do that. Well, with such a young squad getting a lot of playing time, we certainly know that the future for Hilton Head Christian Academy is very bright. And we wish you the best of luck tonight. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank you very much. When we come back here on the Club Car of Hilton Head pregame show, we're going to have Hilton Head prep coach Jerry Faulkner right after this. Covert Air. Covert Air. We support the education and athletic programs for all of Beaufort County. Have a great year. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses.
As we continue with the Club Car of Hilton Head pregame show, we welcome in Hilton Head prep coach Jerry Faulkner. Coach, thanks so much for spending a minute with us. Glad to have you here. Welcome. 11 and 1, pretty good start for prep. We're real pleased. Uh, glad to be in this position and uh, hopefully it can continue. Any surprises from the team this year or did you figure after 12 games there was a reasonable chance you'd be at 11 and 1? No, we did, you never think that that's going to happen. Uh, we've had some really good uh, opponents uh, playing in Savannah and uh, playing three games a night because of the weather and things like that. You never anticipate 11 and 1. A team develops as the season goes on. What have you learned about this team so far this year that maybe you really weren't too sure of? Well, number one, our depth. We keep working and get it some kind of rhythm in our depth. And the second thing, will they accept the roles that we assign them to? Uh, kids have to do that. A team has roles. Everybody can't be uh, the man. And uh, everybody's got to share the ball, and everybody's got to play team defense. Can kids do that? That's the big thing. And you have four of your starters are averaging in double figures. That says a lot about the quality of our kids and the character they have. You know, they don't hog the ball. And uh, we'd love to, I told the kids at the beginning of the year, I'd like to average 120 points a game. Who wouldn't? Uh, you know, you have 12 guys average 10 <laughs> points each. Game plan for tonight. Obviously, you're an up-tempo team. You want to continue that tonight. No doubt about it. We want to get the pace going, too, because I'm sure they're going to want to keep the pace in the 30s and 40s. We want to get it up. And can we do that both? You know, you try to do it both offensively and defensively. It's no uh, secret we're going to come out and pressure the ball and try to get them going at a faster pace than they, they generally play. Coach, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Best of luck tonight. Thank you very much. You've been watching the Club Car of Hilton Head pregame show. When we come back, we'll have the opening tip right after this. Did you know that 90% of the energy created by old-fashioned light bulbs is given off in heat? You're making heat and creating more work for your air conditioner. Save 75% or more with CFL or LED light bulbs in all of your fixtures. An energy tip from Covert Air. Club Car of Hilton Head, an authorized dealer of the finest golf, utility, and transportation vehicles in the industry. We have a full selection of electric, gas, PTV, golf, and utility vehicles. We are family owned and operated and value our customer relationships. Fully staffed with factory trained technicians and can service your cart at your home or business. We provide an outstanding customer experience from sales to service. Come check us out. We are proud to be Hilton Head's only authorized club car dealer. John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Color click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. High school basketball starts now. Once again, we thank you for coming out for tonight's matchup. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Eagles. At guard, number two, Brennan Student. At guard, number three, Floyd Hargrove. At guard, number 23, Daniel Harrington. At forward, number 10, Liam Sergo. And at forward, number 21, J.P. Paduzzi. Now let's hear for the starting lineup for your prep Dolphins. At guard number 11, Tyrone Galloway. At guard number 15, Aiden Sam. At guard number three, Hadith Stewart. At four, number five, a Vermont. And at four, number 14, Stone McDonald. 
And we welcome you back into the Franklin Bacali Gymnasium here at Hilton Head Prep. And we are underway with Prep in Hilton Head Christian Academy. And just like that, number 11, Tyrone Calloway gets Prep on the board. Christian Academy starting two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior this evening. And they're going to do everything they can to hold on to this ball as long as possible before they have to get off a shot to slow down this fast-paced tempo of Hilton Head Prep. Floyd Hargrove out at the top of the key. Throws it over to Brennan's students. Right over to J.P. Paduzzi. Christian Academy will be very cautious with their shot selection and we have our first foul of the evening. Then again, maybe not. Prep comes right back down. Once again, they are an up-tempo team, averaging over 60 a game, and they're going to try to keep it that way tonight, according to Coach Jerry Faulkner. They work it right inside, now kick it back out, and they're working around the perimeter nicely. Long three-pointer, and that's a miss. Brought down by number five, Avern Montague, and he puts it right in. Prep with a quick 4-0 lead. Christian Academy once again, you'll see them slow things down this evening. Ball stripped away and here comes Prep again on the run and they turn it over. Club car of Hilton Head, Buford County's only authorized club car dealer. If you're looking for a golf cart for your personal needs, club car of Hilton Head, that's where to go. And Christian Academy, it bounces off the rim and here comes Prep again. And there's a three-pointer from Hadith Stewart, a Georgia Southern University three, and just like that, Christian Academy is gonna call a timeout. So in no time, Prep has come down and taken a seven nothing lead. And I think this is gonna be the recipe you see most of the evening. Christian Academy is really gonna have to do everything they can to slow down this tempo. Covert Air is proud to be in their fifth year as presenting sponsor of the Covert Air High School Basketball Game of the Week. Be sure to visit them at covertair.com or give them a call at 706-5090. That's 706-5090 for all of your heating and air conditioning needs and tell them you are a fan of high school sports right here on WHHI TV. 549 left in the first quarter. Christian Academy still looking to get on the board. Chase Blackshear bringing it up. Throws it over down on the side there. Liam Sergo trying to drive and he turns it over and here comes Stone McDonald and he lays it up and in. And you can just see the size difference here with Hilton Head Prep having a much older team as once again Christian Academy started this evening. Two freshmen, two sophomores, and a junior. And they're doing everything they can to work it around the perimeter and find an open man. J.P. Paduzzi finally gets Hilton Head Christian Academy on the board. And Prep is right back down with it. Working the ball very nicely. Stewart again from three-point land, in and out. Avern Montague bats it over to a teammate who gets it up and... And there's another Georgia Southern University three-pointer by Tyrone Calloway. Hilton Head Prep working a man-to-man -man defense. Yeah. 
Finally an open shot, and that's what Christian Academy is going to have to take advantage of tonight. They have those open shots. They're going to have to capitalize. And here comes number 11, Tyrone Callaway. He takes it up and in, and he's going to have a chance at a three-point play. So Tyrone Callaway is our first player to go to the stripe tonight. And he misses, not one of the strengths for Hilton Head Prep. Their best foul shooter is Hadid Stewart at 73%. A number I know Coach Jerry Faulkner would like his entire team to improve upon. Once again, Christian Academy working the perimeter. Three point attempt right there that bangs off for number 10, Liam Sergo. Christian Academy gets a long rebound and they control the ball once again. There's a cross court pass, Stone McDonald steals it, gives it to Tyrone Callaway who gets himself another deuce. So just like that, Prep is now up 16 to three. And Prep just keeps pouring on the defensive pressure over the smaller Christian Academy team. And here comes Callaway again. Over to Stewart. Avern Montague bangs a three-pointer off, and here comes Christian Academy. J.P. Paduzzi's tied up in the corner and we're going to have a jump ball. So Aiden Sands goes out. Jack Braun comes in. In the ball goes to Liam Sergo, who kicks it right back out to Floyd Hargrove at the top of the key. Christian Academy needs to be patient. Into the corner, Daniel Harrington kicks it back out. And a lot of the names out there on the court should be familiar to you if you were watching the Covert Air football series this past fall. And here comes Prep again. Avern Montague brings it down, kicks it right out over to Stewart. Gives it down low to Stone McDonald. Back to Stewart, throws it in. Now back down to St Stone McDonald. Nice ball work by Prep. McDonald wasn't able to capitalize, but they look good with their ball handling. Minute and a half left here in the first quarter. And we have a foul. Ball will be taken out over on the side. Georgia Southern University, Georgia's large scale, small field university. Lloyd Hargrove at the top, once again, trying to make something happen there for the Eagles. And number 11, Jace Blackshear is kind of caught inside. Daniel Harrington takes it to the hoop and he's fouled and he'll go to the line. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. And don't forget to stick around for the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. And Harrington misses the first one. And the very enthusiastic Hilton Head Prep student body is letting him know that they don't want him to make that, and unfortunately for him, he does not. Here comes Prep again. Prep working the ball very quickly.
And the big man, Avern Montague, with another, with a pair. And Prep ups their lead to 15. And a nice block there by number 12, Jack Braun. Just over half a minute left in the first quarter. Thrown in, a long pass out to the top of the key to Chase Blackshear. And once again, that Hilton Head prep defense is relentless. And from the corner, Daniel Harrington tries a long one. Here comes Prep again. Kicked back out to Montague and he's gonna take it and drive. And it's off the rim once again and Prep almost able to get it up and in. So after the first quarter, Hilton Head Prep doing what they've done all year. They lead it 18 to three. How old is your heating and air system? 10 years or more? Replacing an old HVAC system with a new one is 250% more efficient. Look for the Energy Star rating and let a qualified professional make sure you get the right unit for your home or business. John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Color click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Covert Air. Honored to provide the heating and air conditioning needs for St. Gregory. Covert Air. Covert Air. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. And as we get ready here for the second quarter, as we get started, Hilton Head Prep has the ball. Right away, they're trying to work it down low and continue to do what they've already done this evening, and that's just go ahead and penetrate and take advantage of their height. Hadith Stewart that looked like he wanted to shoot. Now he throws it over to Tyrone Callaway, who buries another Georgia Southern University three-point shot. And there's a steal now by Callaway, who takes it all the way, uses the left hand nicely. And that gives Callaway 14 points already on the evening. Christian Academy doing everything they can to be patient, but Preps defense is just relentless. Christian Academy trying to work it around 
we'll say meticulously, but prep is making it very difficult for them. Jerry Faulkner, the coach of prep, saying he really wants his defense right up on the men. There's a two-pointer from Brennan Students who airs it, but it's capitalized on on the shot. By number four, Robert Hall. And there's another one that caught nothing but air, and here comes Christian Academy. And this is what Christian Academy wants to do. They want to slow the game down. They don't want to get in a running battle up and down the court with this quicker, bigger, faster prep team. And another steal by prep, and here they come. Nice steal there by number 21, Hunter Hopman. Club car of Hilton Head, Beaufort County's only authorized club car dealer. Ball comes up the other way now with Christian Academy, Floyd Hargrove out at the top of the key. Gives it up there to J.P. Paduzzi. Throws it down to Daniel Harrington. Trying to make something happen. Avern Montague blocks the pass, and here comes Prep again. Logan Blair puts one up. Goes off. It's going to stay here with Prep. Five twenty-three left in the second quarter. Prep leads by 18. Georgia Southern, Georgia's large-scale small field university. With that said, Avon Montague gets a rebound, but he has it blocked out of his hands there. Hadith Stewart throws it down low to him again. And that time, Montague is not to be denied. There's another steal, this time by Hadith Stewart, who comes in and lays it right in for his fifth point of the night. Stewart comes in averaging 16 and a half points per game, the leading scorer for prep. But he's been more on the giving side tonight, trying to get his teammates a lot more shots, having not put the ball up that often. Top of the key now, Jace Blackshear trying to make something happen into Liam Sergo, and he's fouled. Oh, no, he's not fouled. He's got a little bit of traveling there, and Hilton Head Prep's going to get their hands back on the ball. You see the highlight here of Hayda Stewart bringing it right down, getting himself some good air time. And a quick pass underneath to McDonald, who kicks it right out, throws it out to number 21, Hunter Hopman, who misses, and here comes Christian Academy. And we got a foul here. Tyrone Calloway is going to pick up that foul. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, and don't forget to stick around for the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet halftime show. Long inbounds pass. Chase Blackshear has it. He dribbles into some traffic there. And he takes a few too many steps with the ball, and Prep's going to get their hands back on the ball with 4.06 left. The Hilton Head Prep student section, needless to say, they're very enthusiastic about their 11 and 1 Dolphins, as they should be. Back over to Montague, who takes it inside, tries to dish it off. And it looks like we have a blocking foul down low. Covert Air is proud to be in their fifth year as presenting sponsor of the Covert Air High School Basketball Game of the Week. Be sure to visit them at covertair.com or give them a call at 706-5090 for all of your heating and air conditioning needs and tell them you are a fan of high school sports right here on WHHI TV. Prep underneath out to Stone McDonald. Throws it in there to Jack Braun who had a little trouble handling it. Here comes Christian Academy. Long three-pointer by Floyd Hargrove, who throws in a Georgia Southern three-pointer. That makes it 27 to eight now.
Prep working around the perimeter into Stone McDonald tries to take it up and he's fouled. He will go to the line. You'll see Hargrove come down here and he's definitely behind the stripe and throws up a beauty for three for Christian Academy. Stone McDonald shooting two. And he makes the first one. Gets his third point of the evening. And once again, for those of you that follow football here on WHHI in the fall, Stone McDonald. He was the Hilton Head prep quarterback this year. He went down after six games with an injury, but it's nice to see him back out on the court. He misses that one, and Christian Academy dies for it, as does McDonald. Good hustle by McDonald. He gets it right back, and Prep has the ball once again. Long three-point launch there by Tyrone Calloway. And Christian Academy comes out of the scrum with the ball. Floyd Hargrove trying to take it, and that ball is not even going to get near the hoop. Rejected. Stone McDonald said, we'll have none of that in my house. And sure enough, the ball went right back and Christian Academy does keep it. Long pass out to Blackshear. Kicks it over to Robert Hall. Liam Sergo, then right over to Blackshear again. Floyd Hargrove, top of the key. Christian Academy once again trying to be patient, look for the man cutting to potentially get a chippy or have an open jumper. And that's gonna be a turnover coming back the other way. So once again, the Hilton Head prep defense just causing all kinds of trouble here for Christian Academy. And we have a few subs now coming in for prep. Stewart comes back in as does Montague. The very enthusiastic Hilton Head Prep student body, all dressed in a blackout tonight. Prep once again working around the perimeter. Stewart out there, team's leading score. Right down to Aiden Sands, kicks it back out. Little bobble there into Montague, who throws it back out on top to Stewart. Into McDonald, nice pass, and Stone McDonald gets another two. Just under two minutes left here in the second quarter. Prep leads it by 22. Lloyd Hargrove up high, and he's going to try to take it. And it looks like we've got a three second call. Prep will take it over. Stewart out, throws it into McDonald, who's gonna drive the lane and put it up again. And sure enough, Stone McDonald now taking over offensively. Now McDonald gets right in there and we have a jump ball. And it belongs to Hilton Head Prep. Montague takes it, feeds it into McDonald, kicks it back out. And we're going to have a three second call. So Christian Academy with just over a minute left trying to make something happen here. Daniel Harrington with it. Kicks it back out to Jace Blackshear. And he's guarded by Ben Isinger. And we have a foul. Edith Stewart said, who, not me. Oh, 
J.P. Paduzzi with the ball, kicks it back out to Floyd Hargrove. Hargrove takes it, pops, doesn't go, and here comes Prep again. Hadith Stewart looking to up his total, and oh, a nice underhand move for Stewart as he goes ahead and gets his seventh point of the evening. And now we have a steal, and Stewart's gonna do it again and just finger rolls and drops it right over the rim. And now Hadith Stewart showing why he's the team's leading scorer. Floyd Hargrove pops a long one, and there's a Georgia Southern University three-pointer for Floyd Hargrove, his second. And just like that, as we kind of called, Hilton Head Prep has opened up a 36 to 11 lead here after the second quarter. We're going to halftime. When we come back, we'll have the Mike Rickenbaugh halftime show right after this. Preventative maintenance, emergencies, new units. We are Covert Air, serving Bluffton 24-7. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. Club Car of Hilton Head, an authorized dealer of the finest golf, utility, and transportation vehicles in the industry. We have a full selection of electric, gas, PTV, golf, and utility vehicles. We are family owned and operated and value our customer relationships fully staffed with factory trained technicians and can service your cart at your home or business. We provide an outstanding customer experience from sales to service. Come check us out. We are proud to be Hilton Head's only authorized club car dealer. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. And we welcome you into the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. And as we called it at the beginning of the broadcast, it's been all Hilton Head prep. Once again, Christian Academy starting with two freshmen, two sophomores and a junior against a pretty experienced Hilton Head prep team that's bigger, stronger, and faster. Hilton Head prep leads it 36 to 11. Scoring wise, Tyrone Calloway leads the way for prep with 14 points. Hadith Stewart, the leading scorer for prep has nine. Stone McDonald, the quarterback of the football team during the fall, has seven. For Christian Academy, Floyd Hargrove has six points with two three-pointers. Now, as part of our halftime show, we always like to have a special guest, and today we'd like to welcome in John Hopman, the headmaster here at Hilton Head Prep. John, thanks so much for spending a little time with us. Thanks for speaking with me. We're starting a new semester. What do we have going on at prep? I know, first of all, you and the student body are very proud of this basketball team as they've really showed great resilience coming in at 11 and 1. Definitely bound for the postseason, and that could be very exciting too. Yes, everyone's excited about the, the season right now. The boys are, are really pumped up. They're, they're having a great year so far. Uh, and, and we're really proud of all our teams right now. They're, they're doing really well right now in the basketball season. Let's get away from sports for a second. Let's talk academics. We started a new semester. What does that mean for Hilton Head Prep? What do we have going on? 
You know, we, we are just continuing to do what we do. Our, our kids are doing really well academically. Uh, we're really excited about the, the college placements that we have each year, and, and academically our kids are being more and more prepared for that. Uh, SAT scores, ACT scores, college acceptances. Uh, right now we're really proud of our senior class that are getting their, their answers back from different colleges, and, and that's exciting news as well. We'll, we'll be announcing a lot of those very soon. And one of the things that maybe a lot of our viewers might not know are how many students you have here at Hilton Head Prep that are members of athletic academies. For instance, I know you have a lot of junior golfers here that are members of the Junior Players Golf Academy. They work out in the afternoon and the respective tennis academies where a lot of your students go to. Yes, uh, that's a big part of our enrollment are the different academies that we partner with. Uh, a great bunch of kids that, that are pursuing their athletic passions and then also balancing that with our rigorous academic schedule. So they're a big part of our school uh, and we are, we're, we're very happy to have them here. And I think that's something that really ought to be brought to the forefront is the excellence in academics that Hilton Head Prep has and the percentage of your student athletes and students that go on to a college. Yes, all of our students go on to college uh, and, and we're very proud that they do as well as they do when they're in college. It's nothing better than to hear from our kids that you know they, they got into their college of their choice and when they spent their first year there, it was like repeating a year of prep. So they found it to be easy and that's, that says volumes for us. John Hopman, headmaster here at Hilton Head Prep, thanks so much for spending a moment with us. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And that concludes the Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll have the second half right after this. Serving the residents of Sun City 24-7 for your heating and air conditioning needs. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. No one can compare. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more, be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Club Car of Hilton Head, an authorized dealer of the finest golf, utility, and transportation vehicles in the industry. We have a full selection of electric, gas, PTV, golf, and utility vehicles. We are family owned and operated and value our customer relationships. Fully staffed with factory trained technicians and can service your cart at your home or business. We provide an outstanding customer experience from sales to service. Come check us out. We are proud to be Hilton Head's only authorized club car dealer. the Covert Air High School Basketball Series right here only on WHHI Sports. And we are ready to begin the third quarter here. At Hilton Head Prep, they lead at 36 to 11 over the Eagles of Hilton Head Christian Academy. And once again, the bigger, stronger, faster prep players are just exposing Hilton Head Christian Academies, I'm not gonna say their weaknesses, but the fact that they just are having trouble working the ball around and getting the shots off they want, but right away there's a three-pointer put up. 
Good try. Montague comes down with the rebound, and he brings the ball right down court. Throws it over in the corner, number 15, Aiden Sands. Back out over to Stewart on the side. Feeds it into Montague, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Daniel Harrington picked up that foul. So Aver and Montague will go to the line for the first time this evening. And he makes the first one, and that's once again an area that Jerry Faulkner wants to see his team improve is in foul shotting, or foul shooting. Foul shotting, that's nice. And Montague misses the second one, but they get the ball back. And he did, puts it right up, and right away, he puts it down. And Prep increases their lead. Floyd Hargrove around the top. Once again, Christian Academy working it around the perimeter, trying to find the open man, but Prep's relentless defense is making that a challenging thing to do. Daniel Harrington in the corner is going to try a three ball, and he misses. Stone McDonald brings down the rebound, kicks it off immediately to Tyrone Calloway, who brings it down, throws it over to Stewart, who makes a nice play. Hadid Stewart picks up another pair. Once again, a rebuilding year for Christian Academy. Nice play in and out, almost for Liam Sergo, and he'll go to the foul line. Club car of Hilton Head, Buford County's only authorized club car dealer. If you need a golf cart, go check out Club Car of Hilton Head. Sergo will shoot two. And the first one's down. Second one misses, rebound brought down by Aver and Montague, and here comes Prep again. Callaway kicks it on over, back to Callaway. Throws it over to Stewart, and he's gonna be not shy to put up a three. And Christian Academy will get the ball back. Georgia Southern, Georgia's large scale, small field university. Georgia Southern University. Down low to Sergo. He looks to kick it back out to the top of the key over and around. Hargrove puts it up from the corner. He throws it up a little bit strong, and here comes Callaway. He throws it over, and he throws it a little too high and hard for Montague. Christian Academy will be bringing it the other way. Hargrove throws it down. Back to the top of the key there to J.P. Paduzzi. Over to Liam Sergo. Back over to Paduzzi. And Christian Academy's doing everything they can to make cuts, try to back door, but it's just very, very challenging with a much bigger and faster prep team all over them. Sergo with it now, looking to shoot. Tries to feed it down into Daniel Harrington. He does get his hands on it, brought down. Nice rebound there, missed again, another opportunity. Montague throws it back out. Christian Academy maintains possession. And there's two points put down for Christian Academy. Number 21, J.P. Paduzzi gets that bucket. In the corner to Stewart, who takes it. He's going to take it all the way, and he's going to get fouled. He's going to go to the foul line. Nice shot there by number 21, J.P. Paduzzi.
Stewart's first one, nothing but net. Stewart, the leading free throw percentage shooter for these Dolphins. And Stewart hits them both. Working it around, there's a long one put up by J.P. Paduzzi, and here comes Prep. Once again, working the ball around nicely. That one's missed, and here comes Christian Academy, but we have a foul from behind by Stone McDonald. Christian Academy will take it out on the side. 4.04 left in the third quarter. Prep leads at 43 to 14. Nice move there by J.P. Paduzzi. Unfortunately, he got himself a little too far under the basket. And here comes Stone McDonald. Callaway trying to be patient. He goes up with it and he's fouled by Daniel Harrington. So Tyrone Callaway now to the foul line. And Callaway hits the first one. Once again, the Hilton Head Prep student body in a blackout tonight. A very enthusiastic group. And Callaway hits both of them. Chase Blackshear over to Floyd Hargrove. Kicks it on over to J.P. Paduzzi. Down low to Daniel Harrington, and Daniel Harrington throws it up and in. Nice ball movement there. Here comes Prep right away. Adise Stewart throws it up. Not the shot he wanted, but he gets his own rebound, and down it goes. And we have a man down on the court. Number 10, Liam Sergo goes down. And for Coach Mac Temenin of Hilton Head Christian Academy, that bench is a lonely place tonight as the Christian Academy only dressed seven players as a couple of the players have the flu. You can see there he is in the background. Poor Mac has nobody to talk to. Long one put up by Daniel Harrington. And here comes Prep again. Tyrone Calloway throws it up and under. Number 23, Logan Blair caught it, and he also caught himself a foul. Blair comes out limping just a little bit. So with 3.10 left in the third quarter, Prep leads at 47 to 16. They'll take the ball out underneath. Stewart takes it, throws it out to the top there. Callaway looking to shoot, decides to go ahead and reset things. Hadith Stewart throws it right in down low. Kicked over to Stone McDonald and we're gonna have probably three seconds. And that's the call, three second call. Christian Academy will get the ball back. Chase Blackshear bringing it, looking for somebody to throw it to. Floyd Hargrove says, I'll take it. And he'll also take the shot from the corner, throws it up. Doesn't catch anything. And here comes Prep again. Tyrone Calloway bringing it down. Throws it over to Stewart. Stewart's going to drive to the hoop. And he's going to put in another two. So Hadith Stewart now doing what he does best, and that's putting points on the board for Hilton Head Prep. Floyd Hargrove decides he's going to try to take it, and let's see if we get a block or a charge. And it looks like we're going to get a blocking foul, and once again, watching Stewart take it to the hoop. Nicely controlled, lays it up and in. Oh. 
So a blocking foul was the call. Christian Academy will take it out underneath. And the ball goes up top to Blackshear. And there's another steal. Adit Stewart lays in another deuce and he's warming up now. Adit Stewart an all region selection last year. Every bit as good if not better this year. And coach Jerry Faulkner has to like what he sees both offensively and defensively. Here comes Stone McDonald. He says, I'll take this one all the way. And Stone McDonald lays it up and in for his ninth point of the evening. Christian Academy, J.P. Paduzzi tries to take it and Stone McDonald says, yeah, right. And once again, a shot of the very enthusiastic Hilton Head Prep student body. Ball thrown in, almost stolen. Robert Hall trying to figure out what to do with it. Does a nice job of getting away with a little spin move there by J.P. Paduzzi who lays it up and in. So nice move by J.P. Paduzzi. And a long pass drive, and that'll be a turnover. Christian Academy will get their hands back on the ball. In comes number 15, Aiden Sands. Watch this move, nice move there by Paduzzi. And he knew it was in. He was starting to run down court right away. So Hilton Head Christian Academy is showing that they've got the fundamentals and the skills to be something to be reckoned with in the future, that's for sure. Nice little move there. Floyd Hargrove puts in another pair. So Christian Academy showing some nice ball handling and shooting skills. In and out, Christian Academy gets it back and here they come again. And we're going to have a foul on number 21, Hunter Hobman, just getting a little too close going down the sideline there. Mike Rickenbosch Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Hargrove bringing it down. Into the corner, Paduzzi bringing it back out, and we have a turn over there. Covert Air is proud to be in their fifth year as presenting sponsor of the Covert Air High School Basketball Game of the Week. Be sure to visit them at covertair.com or give them a call at 706-5090. That's 706-5090 for all of your heating and air conditioning needs and tell them you are a fan of high school sports right here on WHHI TV. Prep controls the ball. Moving it around nicely once again. Hunter Hopman throws it back down low. He gets the ball back. Throws it into number 33, Nick Lolly. There's a shot up and out, and here comes Christian Academy again with just under 20 seconds left. Christian Academy with their best quarter so far. There's a beauty put in right there by number two, Brennan Students. Prep works it right back down, and we have a foul, and a basket goes in for Jack Braun, and he'll go to the line trying to complete a three-point play. Nice pass there from Hunter Hopman into Jack Braun. Nice turn and look there by Braun, and he'll go ahead and have a chance to add to it. Braun up and in, and he completes a Georgia Southern University three-point play. Christian Academy coming down. Hargrove's gonna wanna put this one up quickly. It gets stolen right away and he won't have the chance to do it. So, as we come to the end of the third quarter here, Hilton Head Prep leads it 56 to 23. We'll be back right after this. Bigger is not always better. A big HVAC system may get you to the desired temperature quicker, but the end result is wildly fluctuating temps and a loss of efficiency. And that translates to a loss of money. When it comes to HVAC, size really does matter. At Georgia Southern University, we're setting the standard for higher education in Southeast Georgia on three exciting campuses in Savannah, Statesboro, and Hinesville. We're offering more opportunities for hands-on learning, more ways to help our students find a career, and more economic impact on our region. At Georgia Southern University, discover more, connect more. 
be more. Florida and South Carolina residents get in-state tuition at our Armstrong and Liberty campuses. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. Station 300, staying cool in the summer and warm in the winter through the services of Covert Air. For all your heating and air conditioning, no one can compare. And we're ready to start the fourth quarter here. Hilton Head Prep leads at 56 to 23. A dominating performance as we thought it might be, seeing that they have considerably more experience, a little taller, a little faster. And they've played some good sound basketball tonight. Nice crisp passes, some very, very right on the man defense. And we've got a three second call going the other way, so Christian Academy will get their hands back on the ball. Lloyd Hargrove bringing the ball down. And once again, Christian Academy has looked good with the idea of their passes tonight. It's just that the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins are just so much bigger, taller, faster, that it's just hard for them to do anything. Christian Academy being patient, working it around. Daniel Harrington thought about shooting it from the corner. And we have a call away from the ball. And we have a foul on Hunter Hopman. Christian Academy will take it out on the side. <clears throat> Liam Sergo taking it out. Throws it in, gives it right away to Chase Blackshear who tries to throw it up, but he catches nothing and here comes Prep. Nick Lally tries to throw it in from the side. Hargrove bringing it up, goes off his leg and it looks like we're gonna have a foul on Hunter Hopman there. Mike Rickenbaugh Chevrolet, before you buy, give us a try. Floyd Hargrove up top. Over to Daniel Harrington, back to Hargrove. Kicks it on out, Harrington's gonna try it from three point land, he throws it off and here comes Prep. Nick Lally throws it over to Aiden Sands, all of a sudden back down, kicks it over to Sands again. He's going to let it go in and out. Rebound pulled down by Jace Blackshear, and here come the Eagles again. And Blackshear decides to slow it on up. Once again, Hilton Head Christian Academy doing everything they can to execute. Harrington has it up top, throws it up to Blackshear. Harrington's going to go down low. See if he can find himself an opening down there. Blackshear is going to try to take it. Ball's partially blocked, and here come the Dolphins. There's number 13, Ben Isinger, and he throws in his first bucket of the night. So once again, terrific ball movement by the Dolphins, and they capitalize. 58-23, 5-16 left. 
Blackshear does the big no-no there, picks up his dribble before he needed to. Fortunately, he was able to get it off to Liam Sergo. And we have a foul before the shot. Look at this move, nice move right here by Ben Isinger as he takes it up, throws it off the backboard, gets himself his first bucket of the evening. And Daniel Harrington, was, even though they're down by quite a few, still having a good time out there. And believe it or not, that's what it's all about. In comes number four, Ian Plummer for Hilton Head Prep. Makes his first appearance of the evening. And you'll probably see Coach Jerry Faulkner try to get some of the players that haven't had a lot of time this year on the floor, get them a little more experience. Harrington misses. And down we come. Right in the corner there, Isinger takes it. Prep trying to work it around, back out there to Ian Plummer. Plummer decides to let it go from three-point land, in and out. Big Nick Lally gets the rebound, up and in for Nick Lally. He gets his first bucket of the evening. So Lally comes in averaging half a point a game and he just went ahead and eclipsed that mark. Ian Plummer on Hargrove. Hargrove trying to figure out what to do with it. Nice left hand move there by Liam Sergo. He was fouled and he'll go to the line. Nick Lally right up, gets the offensive rebound and that's what Christian Academy wanted not to happen tonight was for Hilton Head Prep to get second and third opportunities. Club car of Hilton Head, Beaufort County's only authorized club car dealer. If you need a club car, or a golf cart, go see Club Car of Hilton Head. So Sergo not with the luck that he's looking for from the stripe, Harrington taking it. He's fouled down on the floor. Georgia Southern, Georgia's large scale, small feel university. Georgia Southern. And there's a long three pointer taken right there. Lally brings down the rebound and here come the Dolphins. Ian Plummer with the ball, kicks it back out to Lally, back over to Plummer. Throws it right over to Ben Isinger. He throws it down there to Logan Blair who puts it up, doesn't have any luck and here come the Eagles. Kicking it right back up. Harrington takes it with an underneath scoop and a terrific move by Daniel Harrington. Isinger thought about it from the corner and said decides to kick it on out. There's a long three pointer that doesn't catch much from Jack Braun. And the ball will go back to the Eagles of Hilton Head Christian Academy. Look at this nice move right here by Daniel Harrington who takes it. Great ball control, gets it up off the backboard and in. Once again, the Hilton Head Prep student body all decked out in their blackout. And the first one is made. So Liam Sergo capitalizes, makes the first foul shot. He'll get another chance. And the second one doesn't go. Brought down by Jack Braun, and here comes Ian Plummer. Once again, prep. Patient when they want to be, but boy, they can go ahead and strike quickly. Logan Blair puts it up and just misses. Here comes Floyd Hargrove. And he'll put it right up. And he misses. Nick Lally goes up for it. Brought down by Ben Isinger. Plummer coming down now. Plummer's gonna take it right to the hoop, try his left hand, catches the bottom part of the rim, and here come the Eagles. So we've got a little up and down action happening now. J.P. Paduzzi tries to put it up and in. Nothing's gonna happen there. Isinger back down from just inside the strike. Ben Isinger with a nice move, and he drains another. 
And obviously that's pretty popular with the student body here at Hilton Head Prep. Isinger obviously a fan favorite. Christian Academy working it down. They've got to be a little tired seeing they really don't have that many subs. Hardgrove takes it to the hoop. He's fouled and he'll go to the stripe. Nice little behind the back move by Isinger. He puts it right up and in from just inside the three point stripe. Floyd Hardgrove with his first. And he drops it right down and in. And Hilton Head Prep right up in the area of the amount of points they're averaging per game. Hargrove capitalizes on them both. That gives Hargrove 10 for the evening. Nick Lolly taking it out. Here comes Ian Plummer. Heisinger throws it underneath, tries a ill advised pass. JP Peduzzi bringing it up court. Kicks it out immediately. There's a nice shot right there. Down that went for J.P. Peduzzi. There goes Jack Braun up and in. Nick Lally tries to grab it, but Christian Academy comes down with it. Brennan Students takes it right to the hoop. No such luck there. And Prep gets control of it. So a minute and a half left here. Prep leads it 62 to 31. They've doubled up on Christian Academy. Nick Lally turns and he gets himself another. Chase Blackshear and Doug makes a nice move on Ian Plummer. There's a long shot right there by Robert Hall. Van Isinger gives it on off to Jack Braun. Lally again, Lally makes another bucket. So Nick Lally heating up here in the fourth quarter. JP Peduzzi looking to shoot, gives it up to Blackshear who pops it. Doesn't have any luck there. Here comes Ian Plummer. Gives it up to Lally who again knocks it down. And just like that, Nick Lally has three baskets in a row. Long shot off the front of the rim right there by J.P. Peduzzi, gets his own rebound. Doesn't go right there with Brennan's students to get it and neither of them were able to have it go in and here comes Plummer again. He throws it underneath to Logan Blair who gets fouled and he'll go to the line with 24 and a half seconds left here. Don't forget to stick around for the MVP presentation upon completion of the game. Prep leads it 68 to 31. Blair misses the first one. The student body decided all of a sudden to become totally silent as Logan Blair goes to the foul line and once again we're hushing here. Blair misses that one also but he hustles to try to get his own rebound. Nick Lally out guarding J.P. Peduzzi. A bit of a size mismatch there. Throws it right down to Robert Hall who throws it up, has no such luck, and here comes Ian Plummer. And he'll run out the clock, and that's gonna do it. Hilton Head Prep goes to 12 and one. They win 68 to 31. Stay with us, we're going to have the MVP presentation right after this. What a game. Stay tuned for the Covert Air High School Basketball Series post-game show right here on WHHI Sports. Club Car of Hilton Head, an authorized dealer of the finest golf, utility, and transportation vehicles in the industry. We have a full selection of electric, gas, PTV, golf, and utility vehicles. We are family owned and operated and value our customer relationships. Fully staffed with factory trained technicians and can service your cart at your home or business. 
We provide an outstanding customer experience from sales to service. Come check us out. We are proud to be Hilton Head's only authorized club car dealer. John Paul II Catholic School is committed to preparing students for the challenges of life through intellectual, physical, and spiritual programs that advance academic excellence, leadership, service to others, while fostering discipleship according to the traditions of the Catholic faith. Our core values of service, holiness, integrity, excellence, leadership, and diversity are represented by the shield of our mascot, the Golden Warrior. Call or click today to see all the great things going on at John Paul II Catholic School. Hilton Head PSD offers convenient and secure online billing. Just have your PSD bill handy and click on the online bill payment button at hhpsd.com. You'll be guided through the steps to establish your online billing account. Their payment options allow you to set up recurring credit card payments, you can view your consumption history, and more. Remember to have your PSD bill handy when you visit hhpsd.com to get started. Hilton Head PSD, we're always working for you. A third of American families say they feud over the thermostat setting, and the battle can lead to higher energy bills by bouncing the temperature up and down. Find a temperature that everyone can live with, then avoid the feud. Set it and forget it. A tip from Covert Air. And we welcome you into the post-game presentation. As we thought might happen, Hilton Head Prep a dominating performance tonight. They beat Christian Academy 68-31. But it wasn't only a big win for them, for Coach Jerry Faulkner, it was his 800th win. Coach, 800 wins, where do we start? Well, with good players. You know, that's where you, all coaches start with good players. I want to congratulate these three seniors up here and Adith, that's, that's why you win. And you also have good assistant coaches and good administrators. The team really, not only did they execute offensively tonight, but I thought their defense was tenacious. How did you feel? Well, I did too. Uh, we, we concentrate on defense because that's the most consistent phase of the game, and I thought our defense was excellent. The ball movement was also exceptional. Very unselfish, you know, plays by a lot of your players tonight. Overall, were you pleased with the way things looked oh, tonight? No, no question. They, they moved the ball extremely well. Moving forward? What are we looking for as we continue on down the road? Obviously, we're not that far away from getting to be playoff time. Well, we've got games coming up Thursday and Friday, so we just take them one at a time and have goals. And just like this week, we've got a list of goals we want to get better at. And I thought tonight we achieved a lot of the satisfaction of accomplishing some of those goals. Well, if you continue to have teams like this, it's not going to be long before we're out here celebrating your 900th win. Well, I wouldn't say that, but uh, I just, uh, again, uh, these three seniors and Adith, that's what makes it all possible, and that's what makes it that you stay in it, you know, but having those kind of characters as well as those kind of players. They've got great characters. Their parents have done a great job raising them to, to – uh, be the kind of young men they are and the students they are. So I'm very proud to coach them. Speaking of Hadith Stewart, great game tonight. 19 points. I have a little something for you. You're being presented with. You can open that up for me if you would, as you have two hands and I only have one. You are the MVP of tonight's game. You came in averaging just over 16 points a game. Yes, you had 19 tonight. How have you enjoyed this season? Obviously, we just moved to 12 and 1. Yes. What do you think moving forward? Looking forward to the playoffs as we get down the road? Yes, sir. I'm definitely looking forward to the playoffs. It should be a good season and a better season than last year because we're just trying to move forward. Talk about the team when you're in practice. Obviously, you can see that good practice leads to good performance in games. What's the intensity level with you and the guys when you're in practice? Oh, in practice, um, offense is, and scoring is what's on the scoreboard. But on defense, he, he makes us pick up the intensity on defense because defense leads to offense. How much fun is it to play in front of this student body? Obviously there was a lot of enthusiasm here tonight. Yes sir, the crowd was amazing. It really gave us intensity. Well Hadith, congratulations. Great game by you and your fellow Dolphins and we look forward to following you the rest of the year. And coach, once again congratulations to you on your 800th win. Thank you. That concludes the action here from Hilton Head Prep. Once again, Hilton Head Prep beats Hilton Head Christian Academy 68 to 31. Thanks so much for joining us here. For our entire production crew, I'm Chris Tremblay. We'll see you next time.